One of the songs that come to mind when I think about prayer, we all have had this sweet hour of prayer. I don't know what prayer means to you, but for me it is that sweet hour, sweet minutes of communing with God. And you know what the beauty about it is? I don't have to be all cool, calm and collected. Whether it's the time I want to do adoration to God, whether it's the time for confession and asking God for forgiveness for the many times I've gone astray, whether it's the time for thanksgiving, whether it's that time of bringing my supplications to him. Sweet hour of prayer. And I want to welcome you to that sweet hour of prayer where we commune together as a community. We have started a wonderful series here at Karura Community Chapel, Better Together. We are even better together when we pray together. So karibuni sana, even as we start this prayer moment, prayer hour, invite your friends, invite your children, invite your spouse, invite your neighbors, start watch parties, and let's pray together. There is power in prayer, my friends. There is power when we come together and bring our supplications to God. There is power when we come together and thank God together. There is power when we adore God together. So I welcome you to this sweet hour of prayer and let's pray together. Praise Jesus. Welcome to today's service. We hope that you're going to be blessed. Feel free to worship with us. Feel free to um, just stand up and praise Jesus in your own way. And um, before we start, I would like to read uh, the Bible from the book of Revelation, chapter 7, from verse 11 and 12. And it says, All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen.
angels bow before your throne. Miracles happen in your name. What a mighty God you are. Angels bow before your throne. Angels bow before your throne. Miracles happen in your name. What a mighty God you are.
temptations, you are with me. from wherever you are let me just read a verse um, some people might be asking why do we exalt the Lord why do we um, why do we just say we're exalting him and let me just read a verse for you from Psalms chapter 34 verses 3 it says oh magnify the Lord with me let us exalt his name together I saw the Lord and he answered me he, deli he delivered me from all my fears those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. And this is why we, we like exalt the Lord because he has done it for us. He has done it all for us. And now we just want to like lift him, lift his name up, giving him all his praise, all the glory for he has done it all. So guys, exalt the Lord with me in your own words, in your own way. Exalt the Lord. I will exalt, I will exalt. Exalt, I exalt. 
yes indeed we'll exalt your name lord and we believe we truly believe that his promises are true god god never lies god never lies his promises are, ye- are yes and amen and even if you don't see they are yet to come so we believe that god's promises are there we believe that god's promises shall come to pass and we shall hold on to our faith knowing that god will never let us down he has held us through the fire and what what can we say to these things apart from god you are great and that your promises come to pass be magnified lord
Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing us good. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our guide and protector. Thank you, Lord, for taking good care of us throughout the year. Amen.